Aloha because, you know, there's so many things going on in this world. So many, many things. And you know, remember when we talked about the kupuna, role and responsibility to pono. And when we left off the last time, we talked about names, the giving of names, the receiving of names, how, how, how important that was. And I do want to continue with that because there is much more to tell. But here we are now, we are in the discussion of aloha. E aloha aku, e aloha mai. That's really, really important. How you going to come into the situation with aloha is how the situation should conclude with that same aloha. Right? We hope so. But you know, not everybody had the same kupuna to teach them those lessons. We all need kupuna to teach us. We all need to listen to the kupuna. The kupuna know and understand. Why? First of all, they have lived long enough to have witnessed and experienced many things. So they know and understand a lot. Secondly, because they're still alive and they're still witnessing and experiencing many things, so they do understand even more. Thirdly, they're still in the kupu process of growth. And as they grow, they're still acquiring enlightenments through the process of kupuana being connected to the enlightenment, the au ma lama lama of au ma kua. So when we say aloha aku aloha mai, it reflects responsibility, responsibility on both sides. The person that gives the aloha aku and the person who gives back the aloha mai. Really no different than noyaku and noi mai. Ask. You see, if you like learn something from the kupuna, ask. And if the kupuna like share with you, the kupuna will reply. Now when we go into a halau, because we are how mana o kahula, we are students of the hula. We stand by the door and we do the oli kahea. We give the call to ask, to come in to the hale, to the house, to the establishment, wherever it is. There is a kahu malama. The kahu malama is the person that has the responsibility to take care of that house. The kahu malama of the house is usually the makua, the parent, who has that responsibility. The kahu malama of the halau is usually, of course, the kumuhula. Now, if you like go inside somebody's house, if you like go in somebody's halau, you have to oli kahea. And the oli kahea is asking permission. Have we forgot those basic traditions of asking permission before I go into your house, into your halau, into your establishment? Because I know I learned that from my grandparents because that is the pono of kupuna. To pass on the knowledges of the kupuna. I also teach that to my mo'opuna. You like come inside, you like something, my ka'i, noyaku anoi mai. Well, after you ask, you either go and get the oli komo, which tells you to come in or not. 
If that's not your house, if that's not your halal, if that's not your establishment, and you never get the holy como, then no need go inside. <laughs> you never ask, and they never invite you in. Polo le no, oka oya i o no. So you annoy aku no mai. Now you either gonna get the kono aku and the kono mai. But if no more, you know, then no more. Well, that doesn't mean the story is over. Maybe try again another day. <laughs> it's okay. Try again another day. And maybe the next time, the next time, you can get the answer for come inside. But you have to ask. You have to ask. Now, even when you get the kono for come inside, yeah, even if kono aku kono mai and you get the kono for come inside, yeah, still get kuleana. Because you cannot come inside and do whatever you like. Because still get the kahu malama, the kahu malama of the halau, the kahu malama of the hale, and the kahu malama of the establishment, whatever it is. They are the kahu, the caretakers. And you have to come in with the kuleana of malama. Malama, to honor, respect. Malama, to nourish, preserve, and perpetuate. So even if you like come inside with all your aloha and good intention, that may not be on the agenda of the kahumalama. So when you come into that house, that halau, that establishment, you have to now, because you wanted to come inside, you have to honor the kapu, the kanavai, the rules and the regulations of that house. Because when you honor the kahu, the kahu malama of that house, of that halau, of that establishment, then you malama you perpetuate the kahunui. That's keakua. You see? But when you go inside with malama ole, of the kahu malama, then are you fulfilling your kuleyana? You see? And are you in alignment with the pono, the order and the protocol? Because as keiki with our mo'opuna, I mean kalamai, as mo'opuna with our kupuna, we had strict rules and regulations. We cannot just hana ino and do what we like. Disrespectful of the hale, the halau, the establishment, and the kahumalama. No. And all o'ivi Hawaii know that. We get upset. If somebody come in our house and act like they own everything, it accepts, uh, upsets us, right? <laughs> but somehow stories switch around. And listen, we cannot qualify and quantify our Olelo Hawaii and the traditions that are connected to our Olelo Hawaii. We cannot qualify and quantify because the Olelo Hawaii is the Akua, you see. The Olelo Hawaii is the Akua. Now, if we cancel out the Olelo Hawaii, we cancel out the Akua. If we cancel out the Olelo Hawaii, we cancel out the mana and the authority of our Olelo Hawaii. If we cancel out the Olelo Hawaii, then we cancel out our kupuna. If we cancel out our kupuna, 
then we just canceled out ourselves as O'Evi Hawaii. And there you go. If there is a situation, if there is a pilikia, if there is a hanaino, come look for the kupuna and let's ho'oponopono. Let's put things in its proper place. Let's put things in order so that we have harmony at the end. And where is the solution going to be? The solution is going to be in the Olelo Hawaii. From the moment the kupuna goes into Pule and Kahea, they use the Olelo Hawaii. The Olelo Hawaii, the Olelo Noeau, the Olelo Kupuna, the Olelo Ike. Because if we're going to stand up with all our might and say, we are Oivi Hawaii, oh my goodness, then let's do it the way that we should do it. No make hakaka. Why you make hakaka for? There's a solution to everything. Tutu would say there's a reason and then there's a purpose. Always a solution. So we go back to this situation here, right? So, noyaku, noi mai. Kono aku, kono mai. Ho'okipa, aku, ho'okipa mai. Because once you come into my house, I have the authority. I have the authority over that domain. And if we never learn that for kupuna, from kupuna, why we get all this kapu and kanavai when it comes to halau, the schools of learning. And we as kupuna are living halau. Schools of learning. Ha, the breath. Lau, the multiplying of that breath. Now, not all kupuna get ike, but all kupuna have ike of experiences of their lives. Not all kupuna get the ike of the olelo, but they do have olelo. Not all kupuna get the ike of ho'oponopono, but they do have a good understanding. So, what do you do? Well, you find those people who understand these traditions, who have been teaching them. You see, it comes with the mo'okuauhau, the mo'o'olelo, the lineage and the history. And then, you cannot forget the years of commitment and dedication within that community teaching and conducting ho'oponopono. We cannot just shoot off from the okole and say hateful things when we never makavalu. Look at the situation, any situation, with eight eyes. The eight eyes of knowledge, the knowledge of our kupuna. Because then, we're not doing the right thing, and we no longer in the pono. Now, the things we do and the things we say ultimately affect our relationship with our kupuna, our aumakua, you see, our ancient ancestors, and those are now in the light or the enlightenment of our makua. So what happens now is somebody, yeah, somebody going to have to be the reciprocal of the ino that may come from the kupuna. Because if you understand our makua and our makua worship and the relationship between our makua and their mo'opuna descendants, the Aumakua have authority to teach, to enlighten, to guide, to care. But do not ever forget, if 
ino come out of your waha and you create ino with your lima, that intent of ino becomes punishable by your own aumakua. Your own aumakua going to be the ones get going ho'opono pono you. And trust me, trust me, before that happens, what you would like to do is to mihi, mihi with your heart, mihi with every part of your being, because you do not want to offend your almakua. That kind of sickness that you may incur, we call ma'i almakua, or ma'i kumupa'a, or ma'i uhanehele, when you lose your spirit, you see, this is not pukaka, this is not bullshit, this is the authority of the olelo Hawaii. And that's why I say when you're going to use the word olelo Hawaii, know and understand full well. That's very powerful, especially when you use the word olelo kupuna. It never come directly from the mouth of the kupuna who took that responsibility. Then where that olelo came from? Then we got to go back to the mo'okuauhau, the mo'o olelo, the hanamauno, the years and years of dedication and commitment to community, to ho'ola healing, to ho'oponopono. Ho'oponopono has to do with spiritual sickness. Spiritual sickness. Again, you know like your uhanehele. Malama. When they say malama pono, they say malama your uhane. Because if the uhane run away, away ki aloha e. And are we at a point, o ivi Hawaii, when we have to do things in a hateful way? Ho'opono pono, always going to bring a good conclusion to the situation because ho'oponopono is done by the aumakua, by the aumakua. And when we take things into our own hand, aweke aloha e, aweke aloha e. So I'm going to end, vahi ina mono no kano ono ana ya, that's food for thought. Think about it. I don't know everything. I do know a lot. <laughs> So we would end by singing this song about Aloha and how great Aloha is. Do things the right way. Ahana no me kapono. Pono no ke la mea, pono no ke ia mea. Pono no ika ho opono pono no me na umakua. A oya no ka ho ola. Ona kini lehu lehu. Mai lilo kako ika mai uhan hele. Ale mai ka ino ke la E ho o pono pono ina mea apau No ka pono o ka pilina me na kini au makua A oya no ka pono a me ka polo lei Oya i ono A oya ho i ha He vai vai nui Ke aloha I ha Na ka go E pu Mama, okay, aloha, come here, aloha, come aloha, come aloha, come aloha, aloha, Aloha mai So we're going to end
end our class today. Mele and Mo'o Olelo. Until we get our next class next week, Friday. Ahui ho kako na ke akua no ka maalama ka ho ola ka ho mai ka ia me ka ho o malu. Ke aloha nui, ke aloha nui, ke aloha nui a kako and we're going to say aloha. <laughs>